if it happens early in the morning by the close of the day you're good we get it settled uh, i can yeah. imagine the feeling before it, you actually sort it out you're like i miss her but i can't talk to her i miss him <laughs> but he pissed me off you should apologize no he should yeah. come do you have such kind of thing yes but i don't know you know men sometimes they feel some way they, that, know, they, they feel they have that <laughs> ego of yeah. you should come to he me that what he did was wrong yeah. so when we were before we married when we were doing our counseling one thing that we learned was that you don't have to i don't have to be submissive to my husband just because he loves me like mm. i don't it, it shouldn't be on condition that he has oh, to love yeah, me yeah. Beco- before i submit, submit and he, anyway. yes and he doesn't have to love me because, because i'm of, submitting mm, to mm. him it should be unconditional in the same way i don't have to forgive him when he says sorry and he doesn't have to forgive me when i say sorry to him when oh. i've offended him sometimes you have to just let go oh. so that peace will wow. prevail so <laughs> yeah I, my husband would tell me i don't like this and that about you before i come here you'll be like this thing you know we are okay except this thing i don't like it about you so when i'm coming i'll pray god when i go i don't want to do this <laughs> i'll come and then i'll repeat it but sometimes i make intentional effort but the moment i begin to do that then he will be doing the other way oh. <laughs> the whole thing will backfire, but it's all good. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Mr. Kerko, what mm-hmm. is the biggest cha- or what are those challenges that you feel you faced since you got married within these two months? Um, for me, those um, those little little conflicts uh-huh. are not really a challenge because I see them to be part of the journey. The journey. Yeah. Um, it was happening even before marriage. Mm, mm, yeah, mm. because you are two different people coming together, people of different opinion, different background. So sometimes there will be differences, but the differences should not lead to greater conflict. Yeah. Some of these small, small conflicts will definitely come up. The challenge has been the, the, the distance. Oh. You know, she's not in Beijing. She sometimes has to come to Beijing. And, mm. Yeah, that has been the challenge. We wish we are staying together all the time. And sometimes she doesn't even want to go, but she has a research she's doing that she has to attend to it. Which so, is soon coming to an end. Yeah, so we so are you're hope, soon yeah. getting. Yeah, so we are hoping that she will be able to finish it um, quickly so that she can stay, stay in Beijing for uh, the, the whole period. Yeah. Okay, so, and what are those advantages that you've gotten? For in these two months, aside enjoying um, each other, or what advice would you give out someone there who is who would love to get married but they're kind of scared, uh, mostly here in China or those people who are not back home, they're in foreign countries. I think I've been telling my friends that marriage is sweet. Um, you don't you companion. think the sweetness, the sweet word is over exaggerating? <laughs> marriage is no. sweet. Is it a bed of roses? It it. You, you you become a different person altogether. Oh. You now know. So at first, I used to plan my things alone according to what I want. What suits you. But now, mm. I have to do it with someone. I have to make sure that there is an agreement. And it's like you have the companion in everything you do. Even what you eat, like she was talking about. What you eat, you have to decide about it. But at first, mm. I wake up and I choose whatever I want. Sometimes I choose to go without breakfast. But she will force you to eat something. I think it's a very nice thing because of the companionship. Oh. You have a companion. You have someone you talk to. You have someone you have a challenge you discuss with. And that's something that everybody needs in life. At least you should have someone that cares about you and would want to know everything you do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. so that is much experience in marriage. Yeah. When you are dating, it's a different thing altogether. I was very close to her when we were dating. We knew almost everything. But getting into marriage has given us a new dimension. Mm. And I believe that I'm getting to learn much about marriage. I thought I knew all. Yeah, but when you enter into it, the practicality of it um, is different totally from different. The, the theoretical aspect of it. I was advising people who were even in marriage. 
Yeah, but doing it, it's very and I think difficult. our counselor helped us a lot. We really learned a lot from the counseling process. And mm. one fortunate, advantageous thing that has helped us is counseling after marriage. Oh, you most guys still the, go for counseling? Yes. Most oh. of the time, most of the times, the norm has been that you do the counseling before marriage. Mm-hmm. So most of the things they will be saying, because you are not there yet, you don't see the reality of oh. it. But when you're already into it, mm. as they talk about it, you try to relate to it because oh. you've been there. Oh. And that's one thing that has really helped us. We did major aspect of our counseling before the marriage. But there are some aspects of it that we are taking after marriage. Mm. And that's mm. so good. Oh. So I have always said that I always recommend to people that they should continue to do counseling even after marriage. It's, it's, it's very good. It's a yeah. good one. Any advantage you've gotten within these two months? Yes. Um, before I even came to China, um, I had another opportunity to a different country. But my sister always told me that you have your boyfriend here, so at least when you go, you know that you have someone. Mm-hmm. One major advantage is that I always, I don't live in fear. I always know that I have someone mm-hmm. here that I can turn to. Mm-hmm. And now he's my legally wedded husband. Mm-hmm. So anything at all, even, um, I don't know whether I should say this, winter is coming. I uh, am really afraid of cold. I'm not able to stay. I don't know much. He has been, he has made everything for, he has bought all the things that I Aww. need. So I don't have to feel like I'm alone. I I have someone. And then another thing here, I wanted to say it earlier when you asked about the advantages of marrying in China. Mm. Even though it's difficult, but sometimes getting in touch with certain things are easy. Like most of the things that we used for our wedding. Mm. Yeah, like the banner, our picture banner. It was easy doing it. Yeah. Ordered online Life. with the help of Mochi. We added, ordered oh, most of them, so it came. It came. We didn't need to go to shops to buy them. Yeah. Yeah. And then the last thing I will talk about is that it is uh, marrying here has really given us the opportunity to make our marriage work. To make it work. You know, when you are back home, if something happens, you have maybe you have your sister you call your sister or you you call your mom maybe dominic is doing this and that to me yes but here it is only you i remember when we got married and we used to have this kind of i was like this is not how i envisaged or expected my marriage to be so one day i called my sister my sister advised me that now that you are going um you know that dominic is just a human being he can offend you mm. so that is where you have to you have to let go of certain things so i called my sister one day dominic doesn't know about this <laughs> i told my sister that this is not how i wanted my oh. marriage to be then my sister was laughing he just makes <laughs> <laughs> he was laughing and he was in, she was insulting me that <laughs> you did <laughs> like sit there blah 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 and she just advised me since then i've not even been able to talk to anybody my mother will call and you'll be like i know you have um i know i have a security there oh. even what your mom will say <laughs> will not even let you tell her anything so it gives us the opportunity we know that we are here alone uh, we have to let it work because if we fight even if i have to call my mom, my mom is far away I, I can't go to her I it's know. only dominic that i have and maybe um the people of god that we've mm-hmm. met here so it's really making us make our marriage mm, work mm. and we are learning a lot because it's, it's you and you alone yeah so i, I feel know. like you you have that decision both of you it is either be upon you for your marriage to fail or to work yeah, you have to make a conscious effort mm. yeah. one last question as we're wrapping up uh i'll start with mr kaku why deborah of all girls um you know before before I chose Deborah, I had not been in a relationship. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so all along I've been. In fact, that doesn't mean people have not come out. You have <laughs> gone to the <laughs> 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 People have not been coming or people you have haven't come. been people, going. People have been coming, but. But you, you haven't been going. <laughs> I was more or less like a church elder. And <laughs> church elder You're like, my devil, way. get get behind me, get yeah. behind me. So I even get friends telling me, this girl in the church admires you. 
some of them even come to tell me people have told them they i'm their secret admirer it's not like they are not beautiful but i was so much focused Oh. I just, uh, you were so much focused you didn't have time for that or you feel like your god they are not your type it's like the yeah, interest yeah. wasn't there oh the interest wasn't there oh. yeah so i i even get i when i got closer to them we were very good friends for three years without seeing the thought wasn't even there when people started saying we we're dating we we're not even dating but that they saw how worst. close we were mm. People even said we are twins because they said we look we looked alike, <laughs> and a lot of people have been saying it. <laughs> kind of. Yeah, but the thought was not even there. You know, we were about to. Gra- I was about to graduate, and what some of my friends said, "If I will not go for them, but I should tell them so that they can take advantage." But I was so so shy. I didn't know how to say it. Oh, I didn't know how to. Propose. So when you finally got the feelings, you were still shy to yes. say it because you've been because friends I'm, for I'm so long. I'm like, what if I break. say it and she says no? Uh, and how, then your how, your friendship yeah. would be. I know. So I had to test it online. I sent her a WhatsApp message, and I left WhatsApp for three days because Who does that? I was afraid of the re- <laughs> <laughs> the reply. So you sent a message and you left WhatsApp. Yeah, for, for three, three days. days. So she... not knowing she was also expecting me to say something, and I was not saying mm-hmm. it. <laughs> <laughs> so her reply was positive and the time i went on whatsapp and i saw it i jumped <laughs> wow wow yeah, so i think that i had i had not been into relationship and i chose deborah because deborah met most of my principles i had a lot of principles oh. yeah and she met oh. majority of my principles oh. i'm and by principles i mean that i want a wife who is like this? Who is like this? Who Do you is mind like just mis- mentioning two of them, of those the major okay. ones? First of all, it was non-negotiable to have a seven day Adventist. Okay. Second, it should be a person who is academically advanced. Thank you. Three. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Don't mention all. Don't mention them all. <laughs> <laughs> viewers devil wants to hear let's get two of them two more of them three it should yeah. be someone who loved evangelism because i was the person who was going on missions i can spend the whole of my long va- long vacation period oh. going to the northern part of ghana doing evangelism and she was also interested in that oh. yeah that's one and number the four, next one the last one someone that can make me happy and she was one person that I realized that anytime I'm close to her, mm-hmm. I yeah. feel happy. She feels happy. And that was so good. Go to a point that if I don't see her a day mm. or speak to her, I don't feel comfortable. Uh, yeah. Okay. Butterflies are here. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Mr. Dominic. Uh, Mrs. Kaku, why? Mr. Uh, Kaku, of all men. Yeah, um, I think I chose Dominic because we had a lot of things in common we shared a lot of things in common you know it's easy for you to be with someone that you think are like you do a lot of things like i he loves doing the things that i love doing and so it was easy for us except watching movie (laughs) yeah (laughs) but even with that sometimes i will complain oh dominic let's watch a movie and then he will sit with me not often though mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so we had a lot of things in common and it made it very easy for us and another thing is that dominic is someone that he has people's um cares about people yeah, yeah he yeah. he i don't know how to put it but he looks at he's a people person yes yes so um if you need something and then it's in his capacity to do it he mm-hmm. will do it not only me mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. so because of that i really liked him and he most of my friends liked him mm-hmm. too mm-hmm. my female friends so mm-hmm. dominic was that kind of pastor pastor like mm-hmm. type but he had that kind of um, ability to even mingle with everybody so most of my friends they liked him so he made it very easy for me to pause there please a minute weren't you afraid of maybe your friends or other girls since he's a people person to maybe grab him away from you no 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 it's not true because (laughs) 
<laughs> no, no, I wasn't. Even now, um, like no. you're okay. confident. Um, not as I'm. I'm um, the type that I live she was really. Afraid. I live freely. <laughs> Let me answer my question. I live freely. I always tell him that if I the things that I don't like, if I um there are some, some things that you can cope with, mm. but some particular things that I don't like. Mm. He says something like non negotiable, like when it happens, mm. we're <laughs> we are done. I don't and Dominic, I've not so seen you. Not no, 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 no. I'm <laughs> so should I, there were times that People want to just church members, they want uh, me to come and eat their food and yes, and I you go. She doesn't want, me. I <laughs> want him to go. I had a reason for that. Oh, because, not because we're afraid that they no, I wasn't. I wasn't, but you have a girlfriend now. Mm. Before you didn't have a girlfriend, mm. so you could go everywhere to eat. But you have a girlfriend now, even though it wasn't my responsibility to do it, but it's not nice for you to be visiting sister in Christ. Sister in Christ. No, I just didn't <laughs> like that. So I told him that um if he needs uh, I can Food. cook. Yes, mm. I can cook. So if if he needs it and I'm available, I can do it for him. Mm. Yes. So that was the reason why I didn't want to, but I wasn't afraid because he's not that type too. He's not that type who we'll jump on yeah, to every yeah, girl. He, yeah. He, he oh. talks to them, he moves to even some confined in him, share their experiences with him. But I've not seen that side of him. Mm-hmm. Maybe if I had seen something like that, I will and I don't have any mindset like but if I catch him, that would be a story. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Winston Kaku. It has been nice having you. Could you please have one last word to my viewers out there, Mr. Kaku? One last word. Yes. Um, I would advise men. If there is a lady you you really want to go into marriage with, I would always advise I always advise my colleagues that who are males that um, marriage is something that is not a child's play so you do your critical analysis big man you must be you must be circumspect in choosing the one you want to go into marriage for us as christians we believe that when you enter into marriage divorce is not something we encourage yeah so you must be circumspect of whom you are going into marriage with and you must be sure of what you are doing and do not leave God out. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Mrs. Koko? Yeah. Um, I want to talk to those in the diaspora, those who are not home, that it is possible for you to have your marriage um, when you are not home, maybe on someone's land. Mm. Yeah, it depends on how you tune your mind to face the whole thing. Mm. It is possible. And also another thing is that the little that I've seen, marriage for your marriage to work, you have to make a conscious effort. You have to be intentional about it. It's not an automatic something that you just wake up and it is working. We are we've just done two months and we have forever to go. Mm. But I believe that if we make a conscious effort, mm. then it will it will work. Yeah. And she said one thing. One thing. Okay. You said, <laughs> no. you said two already. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, guys. I hope you enjoyed this interview. Should I bring them back? Tell me in the comment section. What did you learn about it? What, were you inspired? Are you? Do you have any plans of getting married? Are you in the diaspora? Tell me in the comment section what you think about this interview. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to practice kindness. Until next time, bye. bye. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye. <laughs>